right, I think I'll go ahead and start. Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Daily Coop Connect. Hi, Mark. Um, obviously, in the world we live in today, many businesses, doctor's offices, a lot of public places are requiring face coverings. Um, even as WSU starts to, um, to prepare for our safe return to work, uh, facial coverings are likely to be required per Governor Inslee's order on his newest proclamation. So I wanted to, um, to talk about face coverings today because I have purchased some face coverings and most face coverings are one size fits all or one size fits most and I have um, I have not uh, been able to find a face covering that works best for me. Sometimes, like there's some that are super expensive. Some aren't even available because they're on back order. So many people are ordering them. Um, some are too big. Some are too small. And then some, as you can see, um, come broken. And so I ordered some, and this one's broken. And then one size fits all. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's just gigantic. It doesn't, it doesn't fit me. And then, so I kind of improvise and I tie it on one side and, and, it, and it works okay. But um, I thought, you know, there's gotta be a better solution to this. These were really expensive and then they don't really work for my needs very well. So I wanted to have a, um, a little, um, uh, you know, just kind of teach you guys how to make some uh, some face coverings. So the first one that I am going to show you guys how to make is a bandana face covering. The bandana face covering is there's just two um, supplies that are necessary and one that's optional. So I went to the dollar store and I picked up a two pack of bandanas. So 50 cents each for bandanas. And then I have a 16 year old daughter so I have a ton of hair ties and really that's all you need to make this particular face covering. If you have a coffee filter at home and if you wanted that added layer of um, protection you can certainly use a, a coffee filter as well. So basically I'm going to move my camera down a little bit to my workstation here so hopefully you guys can see this. And so essentially you've got one, ban one bandana, you fold it lengthwise in half or widthwise in half, apologize for that. And then if you want to use a coffee filter, you can cut it to the size you want. I just folded it and I can kind of just set this right here in the middle. And then you fold the top third of your bandana and the bottom third of your bandana. And then this is the nice part about these. You can put these hair ties in any space. Um, you can make it as large as you want it. You can make it as small as you want it. So these are really, truly a one size fits all because you can move this to the actual size that you want it. And so essentially you get your hair ties in um, the proper spot. And then you, all you do is you fold it over and then you've got your hair ties to be able to, um, to put your bandana on. And I'm gonna move this back up and literally you just put it on and then can adjust it on your face however you, however you want it. So um, for just $1 at the dollar store, I was able to make two of these bandana face coverings. Many of you probably have bandanas at home. You might have scarves at home um, and you can do the same thing with the scarf as well. So super easy, super simple to make these face coverings. Here is um, the illustration of how to make them and these will be available on the Coog Connect website. So if you guys um, want to come back to this and make these, if you forget one of the steps or two of the steps, you can certainly do that. You can also Google um, uh, no sew face coverings and you're gonna get several different options of face coverings when you do Google that. Uh, the second type of face covering that I wanted to show you how to make is going to be a t-shirt face covering. So you need a few more supplies for this. I actually did buy a, a t-shirt at the dollar store. So, and I've made a couple, so there's a few, um, there's a few um, holes in this one, but 
you just need a t-shirt, you need a pair of scissors, a measuring tape so that you can measure for your particular template, and then some chalk to, um, to put, uh, to, to um, trace around your template. So there's different size templates. I recommend using something like a little piece of cardboard or something. A piece of paper is a little too flimsy and it was hard for me. This was just a toaster strudel box that I had um, in my recycle bin. Um, nine and a half inches wide by four and a half inches tall is for kind of probably like a child or a preteen. Um, if you're looking for something more adult size, uh, about 12 inches across by four and a half inches um, wide is, is ideal for, um, for adults. And as you can see, I've already um, cut a couple of these out, but I wanted to maybe do a quick demonstration as well to show you how fast and how easy it is for these particular ones. So you simply just find a spot on your t-shirt that you haven't used yet. You lay your template down and you grab your chalk. And my chalk is um, on a black shirt, so it works really well. If, if you want to use, if you're using a white shirt or a light colored shirt, you can certainly use a pencil or, or what have you. Um, I'm not necessarily going to go through this whole thing and cut it out because essentially you just make your outline. Here's your little um, ear hooks on there. And then you, you just cut all the way around. You cut your holes there. And then I will show you, um, this is the small one that won't fit, but there's a little lump uh, for the nose. And then you just put it around like so, it fits really snugly. And so that is how you make two different types of face coverings, your bandana face covering, which you can make two of them for a dollar or even less if you have the supplies at home, and then your t-shirt face uh, coverings, which you probably have a lot of supplies at home as well. Again, all different sizes. Um, there are templates out there, but um, you know, nine and a half um, for your, your children or your teens, 12 inches for adults. You can always grab the um, measuring tape and just kind of put it from one ear to the other to determine what the best size for you will be um, for, uh, for your face covering. And that is all there is to it. In less than 10 minutes, we were able to make a couple of different face uh, coverings. And um, any questions, any comments, anybody have any face coverings that uh, you guys have made that you wanna share how easy and simple and inexpensive they were, feel free to drop them in the chat. Um, and then while you're doing that, I just wanted to remind everybody that tomorrow, same time, 10 a.m., we'll be doing another Ku Connect, and we'll hear from Don Reed. Uh, he's from our HRS group as well, and he is going to, this is interesting, take us on a happy walk. I don't know what that means. I, I definitely am going to tune in to, to figure out what that means. So um, so that's all I have for you guys today. I, um, I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me look at some chats. There's a couple there. Um, yeah, so it doesn't sound like anybody has, doesn't look like anybody has any new, any different ideas. So I think I will let you guys go. Enjoy your day and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.